Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So it is about time for an update. We haven't done it for a while. Um, so and also to document everything what's happening here in the food forest, what's new, what has changed and so on. And yeah, I hope you will like the video. If so, it would be great if you put a thumb up for us, subscribe to our channel if you still didn't. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, just please put them underneath in the comments section below. And yeah, we are also on Facebook and Instagram if you would like to follow us. And we've got our website permaculturehaven.com with some information um, about workshops, courses, volunteering jobs as well. If you would like to visit us, just check in there. And also some uh, lots of recipes we cook and we do. So yeah, now let's jump into the video. Enjoy and so let's start with the pond here. Um, we just built i think about two months ago with the help of a great german backpackers and the great addition to the food forest for the wild for the insects for the bees as well because they love to drink out there and also all the plants you see here are all edible water plants we've got and so uh, here the azola the fish mint great stuff if you use fish sauce um, you can forget about the fish sauce you buy in the shops this tastes exactly like a, like a fish sauce but it's much healthier the water lettuce uh, it's edible when cooked um, but we haven't tried it yet this is mainly for our this is for our ducks apparently not so good taste i have no idea i never tried but yeah the ducks loving it so even though some people say it's a pest the water lettuce it's a great plant for us as the ducks are very happy about them and also some brahmi here the dementia plant the little leaves um water chestnuts i am growing them in a basket what else do i have over there there is um kangkong and some water parsley and so we've got a beautiful water place a little pond and you're very happy about it with a solar panel and a little pump so it's good some air and yeah here around all self-seeding plants the moringa coming out of there after the frost snap was gone for a while um here the chinese sort lettuce great um great uh vegetable actually once you have it you have it forever the, the leaves taste really good the young ones are very yummy it tastes like a lettuce actually and the older leaves are also very good for um yeah you can add them into your stir fry dishes or you can do them like a spinach with garlic and so on lots of ideas you can do with it yeah here around the pot so growing some shade plants this is self-seeded um pigeon pea some galangal and so on and our Banana circle, the bananas are all coming back now after frost as well. A couple of nights frost was enough, but yeah, they all coming back. So, and here the spinaches, the perennial spinaches, all growing very happily. The lemongrass. 
here lots of stuff i think it's too much for one video i will just concentrate maybe on some new plants and new additions yeah here are little pigeon peas which grow in between the bananas so we will have a nice shade for our spinaches during the summertime so let's go over there everything growing nicely here's some self-seeded stuff as well i will not um, i will not um, tell you all the names of all the plants because we will need at least two or three hours but you're more than welcome to book um food forest tour if you would like to get explained all of these plants i'm very happy to do this the info on our website everything is coming back to life we have a spring now here in our subtropical here um some grapes it's the very first time for uh, with the fruits for me so just put some netting so i can actually try some <laughs> before the birds come uh, here are huge bamboo which we use for to build some stuff so yeah this is basically the first food forest the fig tree oh very little i'm so waiting for the fruits here the native fig tree this is a new addition actually the sandpaper fig and the fruits are apparently very nice if you know this fruit and you try it please let me know if you like the fruits so cassava growing there again and so on here just planted some new guinea um new guinea beans i think it's the name never had them before we'll see what's happening so here are our fruit tree guild companion planting we just started because the fruit the tree is not very old yet so but we already started with the planting here underneath it's a great way to grow uh, food if you have some fruit trees check my instagram and i will put some information on website as well about it so yeah this is basically the first food forest we've got some stuff growing over there as well our mulberry tree it's a beautiful just a quick look just one and a half years old i think roughly lots of fruits but we had to shed them with the birds so we didn't have many this time <laughs> okay now let's go to the other food forest to the second one and the first you can see here is our beautiful new addition the mandala garden we have built it about seven weeks ago and i started the planting six weeks ago to put the little seedlings in there and as you can see we are already busy harvesting stuff some self-seeded plants as well here like the amaranth the red and green one great food um yeah here on the uh rope there are lufas growing and some pigeon peas as this is the west side so it will protect the the veggies uh during the afternoon hours from the hot sun yeah so here we've got already beetroot some more lettuce this is what self-seeded somehow it was in the soil some of the seeds and a little 
beetroot as well, zucchini, some tomato, celery, um, this is um, Cape gooseberry, um, some cucumbers over here, already growing nicely. I will put them up on the ropes as well. And yeah, here, some parsnip, and I replanted some uh, rocket lettuce, so it will nicely reseed itself the next season. Yeah, some parsley, also zucchini. We are harvesting already for a week. Three different sorts of zucchinis. It's got already the white spots on it, but I will leave it as it is and we'll see what's happening. So, yeah, and here some herbs as well and some self-seeded tomato, some perennial leeks and some shallots. Uh, the shallots, I love them because they are so multiplying like crazy but they don't produce good seeds so it's really better to get them up and drop them because they produce better shallots better onions when you remove the flowers and a quick look in the in the little shade house i've got for my little seedlings i do and yeah during the winter we put a foil all over to protect it from the frost the little ones but now it's just a just a shade cloth 50 percent uh, sun blocking and this is good for them it's working pretty well so some cuttings here here along the fence we've got uh, cassava growing and didn't plant anything of it here all growing nicely we harvested the cassavas but i left a little of the roots and it's coming back again uh, cassava great vegetable the roots are very good potato substitute the tubers and the leaves are awesome in a curry or any other dish but you have to cook them for 15 minutes so i planted some elderberry trees here this is the only new plants which i planted here two as they are really great protection from the cold winds and winter because they are full in flower leaves and everything during the winter time and they grow really nice and bushy you can cut them into like a bush or let them grow like a tree so yeah i've got a few of them planted here so here our beautiful lime tree and lots of stuff growing underneath like strawberries and water um, melons and also some self-seeded tomatoes yeah here some taro cranberry hibiscus and so on Uh, here is some dragon fruit we had already some fruits here so hoping for more to our shade house here which is next to the mandala garden and have a quick look lots of space here for the tomatoes which i will put in um, I've got some maggi plant growing, finally got it grow, the maggi plant, oh, this is really delicious. 
it tastes like the yeah like a soy sauce if you don't know what maggi is so here some space for new veggies for new plants new seedlings here are some actually self-seeded tomatoes and they are doing pretty well um capsicum growing really big one it's amazing this little paprika capsicum bush it's growing such an amazing fruits already um yeah some more tomatoes obviously and here our beautiful asian pigeon wings or oh, the botanical name is clitoria teratea so this one is growing very good it's a um, legume so it's improving the soil as well but also the flowers they are delicious you can eat them raw in salads uh, also they make a beautiful tea but dry it first if you want to do the tea the asian people they're using it for food coloring as well we haven't done it yet but i love the tea the tea is just delicious check my instagram and you will find some beautiful blue tea or purple tea as well this is the trick if you add the lemon juice and here's some more of the capsicums and chilies as well somehow they mix the flavors through cross pollination and now the funny thing is when i'm harvesting i never know if this will be hot or sweet so always a surprise <laughs> here more of the self-seeded beauties so i will have i hope i will have lots of them in the garden now as well because distributed lots of seeds this is a summer plant um yeah we are in spring and they're growing so beautiful already yeah some more capsicums they are all from the last season from last summer some spinach is here as well more of this beauty self-seeded tomatoes very nice size already and some green tomatoes here let's get red guys beautiful capsicum so very happy with it the uh, green thai eggplant it's coming back now as well we can start already the harvest i see after the frost they were gone for a while and coming back now so this one doesn't look happy at all i will remove it and plant a new one other than that some lost cabbage here which i don't know where is it coming from <laughs> but yeah i let it grow and see what happens during the summer it's not really time for cabbage here but yeah, i will leave it uh, this is the perennial um oh, i forgot the name of course mm, coriander yeah the perennial coriander hope this guy will grow because we love coriander okay so now we are here the second food forest here is a long line along the fence line with all self-seeded stuff so we will have a quick look everything beautiful edible pretties If you are interested of all the edibles we are growing actually oh this is pepino and we are growing over 100 different edibles in our food forests so if you are interested you can 
get a list from our website with all of them and also you can order some edibles some seedlings i can make them for you ready for pickup um because i don't really have the time to keep them all seedlings here on site and but i'm happy to do the seedlings if you order some so here's some it's a new quick veggie patch uh, or well a garden bed i call it emergency garden beds <laughs> which i'm doing always within a couple of hours so you see obviously always cardboard underneath and some good stuff on top and you can plant your yeah your plants whatever you like straight away i planted some um some elderberry tree here as well also on the other side here everywhere to again as i said to protect the other uh, plants from the winter snap some pomegranate replanted it it was growing under the bamboo and nothing wants to grow under the bamboo so yeah some more other stuff as well a pomegranate i just grew from seed i've caught a few of them so we'll see how this guy is going and and so on so what else have we got here yeah here stuff growing protected with net because the guinea fowls are coming i'm always growing some radishes for the seeds and this was the plan but the, the leaves were all gone all gone so we protected it with the net i see it's coming back the leaves are coming back so i hope i will have some seeds here some beans and corn growing together with some cassava and the white potatoes the white potatoes are awesome they are i'm not really sure about but i think they are the white sweet potatoes but they are not so sweet growing like crazy here everywhere i was thinking i removed all of them and now after the winter they they grow like this crazy and they're really yummy you can eat them they taste pretty much similar like the potatoes we know them from the shops the normal potatoes and yeah baked potatoes and mashed potatoes everything you can do with it even potato dumplings <laughs> which we like <laughs> yeah here's some more of them this what i planted now the white potatoes so we should have plenty of it and we also planted some new bananas in between so this is the youngest part of the food forest with stuff growing really good obviously turmeric and so on they are all pigeon peas from last year the cold snap got them they were gone we cut them the dry bits up and so this is all what's coming now the bush basil is going mad and the beautiful bees love it lots and sorts of different bees here really nice to see how they enjoy it so yeah lime tree i grew from cutting loaded with little cuties so we will have good amount of limes again and here it's a very new part as well along the fence line here and over there new uh, beds 
garden beds built along the fence line so we can grow more stuff <laughs> and of course lots of elderberry trees i'm trying to really grow lots of them now to protect the other plants i will see how the plan is going but it should work here nice logan oh no the young berry is it yes the young berry i think lots of flowers they're really delicious yeah the lychee tree again second time in a row we had the frost snap and it was gone again and it's coming back so i really hope for frost free winter this time next i mean the next the coming winter because to get the, the trees all stronger this one is a nice one wompy growing good yeah also new addition the citrus trees um So we've got now pomelo, grapefruit um, and blood orange. So three little babies and I hope they will grow good. Some more bananas in between. And little elderberry seedlings, more cassavas, they are all from last season. We harvested the large beets, the large tubers, and we let the others grow. And this is how it looks like. The low cut growing very good. And yeah, the mandarin, I have to tell you a little about it. It's the very first time we had flowers. And I think we will have nice mandarins for the very first time in our young food forest so makes me very happy yeah that's about it guys here i hope you enjoyed the tour i hope it was not too hectic not too quick ah uh, here's some more self-seeding stuff and elderberry again so ah oh, and that's about it for today i hope you're still with me and you liked the video if you did Please don't forget to put the thumb up for us if you have any questions or comments and so on in the comment section below. And yeah, I wish you all a great day and all the best by your ongoing projects and new projects and see you next time. Bye!